Lyngdorf Audio began in 2005. Peter Lyngdorf uh, helped to finance the very first digital amplifier platform. We developed a company that had digital amplifiers. We wanted them to be you know, engineered perfectly. Nothing in there that doesn't have a function or doesn't have an engineering reason. So no hi-fi snake oil in there. We want our products to be very easy to use, but a very technology-driven inside. We only make high-performance products, so that's always a given. So what is very important is reliability. We have 100% test of all products here at the factory. We have 24 hours burn-in. So when the products leave here, they actually work, and we are 100% sure of that. Ease of use is another thing where the user needs to be able to use the product and get full functionality out of the product without having to be an engineer to set it up. We are here in Skive in Denmark. We have over 4,000 square meters of production and development here in Skive. Inside the factory we do all the development of software and hardware and apps and DSPs and, and of course the mechanics, everything we do in-house. And then there's the production side of it, where we assemble all the products that we sell. We have assembly of cabinets, we have assembly of the electronics. A lot of the employees that we have here at the factory have been here for a long time, uh, some from, even from the beginning. Me, myself, uh, was here from the beginning in 2005, and so that's 18 years now. The interesting thing about Lingdorf Audio is that when you move back in time with most audio companies, you will find that very old, dusty, class AB amplifier with wooden side panels. And the very first Lindorf Audio product was the Millennium. And that was already a fully digital high-end audio amplifier. Uh, with that iconic volume wheel and it has a very special way to control the volume. It was very innovative, so it was 20 years ahead of time. And that was our first product. And that Millennium amplifier also set the path for all amplifiers to come. They all have the same core digital audio technology. Uh, the same kind of volume control, and then later we also added Room Perfect. Every amplifier out there is basically the same, no matter whether it's called Class A or B or even D or G or H. They all take an analog signal coming in, attenuate the volume uh, of a rather weak signal already, and then amplify it with voltage and current to drive a loudspeaker. And you notice I said it's an analog signal coming in. But when you think about music today, everything is digital except when pressed on vinyl. So whether you talk about streaming or high-res downloads uh, or even low-res and web radio, up to Dolby in the studio for movies and soundtracks, everything is digital. So why in amplifiers are we still relying on analog signal coming in? And that was the thinking with Lingdorf Audio back then when we started. The amplifier has to be digital. So a Lingdorf Audio amplifier takes the digital signal and when you turn the volume wheel, we actually set the voltage on the output side. We don't attenuate the incoming signal on the input side. And that's why our amplifiers are really digital. They have no DA converter inside. They don't take an analog signal or attenuate it. They are fully digital. And our other core technology is our room correction, which we call Room Perfect. That one secret of Room Perfect is how it collects better data. And the other part is what to do with this data. But what we really do with this data is that we don't linearize everything, but we really understand the room and understand the speaker, the sound character of the speaker, and we preserve that. And we want to preserve the sound character of the loudspeaker and correct the problems in the room. When it comes to audio and sound quality, people usually think about two-channel and hi-fi. But in 2018, we introduced the MP50, and so we applied our digital audio experience and knowledge to multi-channel audio. So we designed an AV processor with a really good digital processing and a really good analog output stage and applied Boom Perfect to the home cinema. When we went into multi-channel, the goal was both to bring our room correction technology into multi-channel, but also to take some of the ease of use into multi-channel because sometimes it can be very hard for an end user to set up a multi-channel system correctly. You almost have to be an engineer to know what is right and what is wrong. I joined Lingdorf Audio just over three years ago, but I actually own a Lingdorf Audio amplifier since over 18 years, and that was a millennium. And that amplifier always stayed with me over all the years. Many amplifiers came and went, but the millennium always stayed. It became a sound reference to me. 
There's many things in Lugner Forte I'm proud of. I can see people being happy when using the products. Uh, I can see some installers that are 100% confident that when they install this system, that it's gonna be working and they can't do it better than that. So there's not even up for discussion. I see people using our products as tools, either to test other products or to get other speakers to sound better. There's nothing more satisfying than that.